incorrect information. When he said it, I believe he was confused. I, I'm just telling you, we're ready to go. The president suggesting vaccinations could start as early as next month, though his own advisors are not nearly as optimistic as he faces new fallout from his ABC town hall overnight when uncommitted voters asked him about his fight against the virus. I didn't downplay it. I actually, in many ways, I upplayed it in terms of action. That's after the president himself acknowledged downplaying the danger. I wanted to always play it down. I still like playing it down. And again predicted it could go away on its own. It is going to disappear. It's going to disappear. I still say don't take it. It would go away without the vaccine, George. But it's going to go away a lot faster. It would with go it. away without the vaccine? Sure. Over a period of time. Sure, with time. It goes any deaths. And you'll develop, you'll develop herd, like a herd mentality. It's going to be, it's going to be herd developed, and that's going to happen. The president seemed to be referring to herd immunity, which is when a virus stops spreading widely because enough people have become immune. For COVID-19, scientists estimate without a vaccine, 70 percent of Americans, or more than 200 million people, would need to catch COVID and recover to create herd immunity. That's way more than the six and a half million believed to have been infected so far. Herd immunity has never been a strategy here at the White House. The White House insists its priority is a vaccine. I trust vaccines. I trust scientists. But I don't trust Donald Trump. At this moment, the American people can't either. Joe Biden today blasting the president's leadership. He made clear that he still doesn't have a plan to bring us out of this crisis. He even said, and I quote, a lot of people think that masks are not good, undercutting the easiest, most effective means we have for reducing the spread of this disease. And while President Trump's again insisting he'll roll out his alternative to the Affordable Care Act soon. I have it already, and it's a much better plan for you. Today, three top health officials testified they're not aware of such a plan, despite the president promising one for more than a year. We'll be announcing that in about two months, maybe less. We're signing a health care plan within two weeks. I'll be signing it sometime very soon. The president added tonight he thinks there are a lot of problems with face masks. That's even after his CDC director today called them the most powerful public health tool we have. And the